In the heart of Starbase, Texas, a technological revolution is unfolding. SpaceX's Starship, humanity's boldest step toward interplanetary travel, isn't just getting bigger, it's getting better, stronger, and more sophisticated with each iteration. At the core of this evolution lies a critical innovation that's revolutionizing spacecraft construction, advanced welding techniques. From the early prototypes to the upcoming V3, the story of Starship's development is written in seams of stainless steel. These aren't just ordinary welds, they're the difference between a rocket that can reach Mars and one that never leaves the ground. As Elon Musk himself puts it, there are lots of ways to melt and join steel, but creating a spacecraft capable of interplanetary travel demands nothing short of perfection. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the fascinating evolution of Starship's construction methods. We'll explore how SpaceX transformed from rough, visible wells to nearly invisible seams, reduced vehicle mass by 20%, and developed techniques that make their rockets four times stronger than before. This isn't just about better welding. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft manufacturing. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The journey of Starship's welding evolution begins in the sweltering Texas heat, where a team of dedicated engineers faced what seemed like an impossible challenge. In those early days, the sound of metal grinding against metal echoed through Starbase as workers struggled with a fundamental question. How do you build the largest spacecraft in history from rings of stainless steel, knowing that a single imperfect weld could mean the difference between success and catastrophic failure? In the summer of 2019, during those first attempts with flux cord arc welding FCAW, the challenges became painfully clear. Senior engineer Maria Rodriguez recalls the moment that changed everything. We were examining the welds on our third prototype when we discovered micro fractures forming under stress tests. The entire team fell silent. We knew right then that if these same fractures appeared during an actual flight, we'd lose the vehicle. The early Starship stood as testament to these struggles, their surfaces marked with visible seams and uneven welds that told the story of a dream still finding its footing. But failure wasn't an option. Not for SpaceX. Not for a project designed to carry humanity to Mars. The team worked through countless nights, fueled by coffee and determination, testing different welding techniques in a race against time. The pressure was immense. Every delay in solving the welding challenge meant pushing back humanity's journey to Mars. The breakthrough came from an unexpected source, during a late-night review session, a young engineer named David Chen noticed something peculiar in the thermal imaging data from their test welds. The heat distribution patterns suggested that their entire approach to welding these massive structures was fundamentally flawed. This observation led to the game-changing switch to TIG tip semi-automatic welding. The transformation was dramatic. Within weeks, the quality of welds improved so significantly that even veteran aerospace welders were amazed. The precision of TIG tip welding allowed SpaceX to achieve something previously thought impossible. They could reduce the thickness of their stainless steel rings while actually making them stronger. The result? A stunning 20% reduction in mass without compromising structural integrity. But the road to perfection had only begun. In early 2020, during a crucial pressure test, a seemingly perfect weld failed catastrophically. The incident shook the team but also sparked a revolution in their approach. SpaceX's response was characteristically bold. They wouldn't just improve their welding technique, they would reinvent the entire process. The introduction of automated laser welding systems marked the next leap forward. Inside the massive high bay at Starbase, these machines moved with an almost eerie precision, their lasers dancing across the steel surface with accuracy far beyond human capabilities. The sight was mesmerizing. Robots orchestrating a ballet of light and metal, creating bonds stronger than the material itself. Yet the most dramatic improvement came with a decision that initially met with skepticism. The switch from 301 to 304L, stainless steel seemed like a minor technical detail, but its impact would prove revolutionary. During the first high temperature test of the new alloy, the team watched in amazement as the material maintained its integrity under conditions that would have caused the original steel to fail. The new welds were four times stronger, 
with a 25% increase in ductility at extreme temperatures. The story took another turn when SpaceX faced a critical timeline challenge. The first V2 prototype, Ship 33, needed to be completed in record time to meet launch window requirements. The pressure was immense, but the new welding techniques proved their worth. The team completed the entire vehicle in just 42 days, a feat that would have seemed impossible during the FCAW era. When the final weld was completed, there wasn't a dry eye in the facility. They had done it. Current work on the V3 version pushes these boundaries even further. At a planned height of 150 meters, it will dwarf everything that came before it. But size isn't the only challenge. This vessel is designed for deep space missions that will subject it to the most extreme conditions any human-made object has ever faced. Every weld must be perfect, every seam flawless, because there won't be any second chances millions of miles from Earth. The new Star Factory represents the culmination of this journey. Inside this massive facility, multiple automated welding systems work in perfect synchronization, their movements choreographed by advanced AI systems. The goal seems almost outrageous, one complete starship every day. But after witnessing the incredible progress made so far, few doubt it's possible. Recent tests have validated these innovations in dramatic fashion. During one particularly intense re-entry test, temperatures around the welds reached levels that would melt most metals. The team watched with bated breath as their creation endured forces that would tear apart lesser vessels. When the data came back, showing the welds had held perfectly, the celebration lasted for days. Looking ahead, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. The latest prototypes feature welds so precise they're nearly invisible, creating what appears to be a seamless shell of stainless steel. But more importantly, each weld represents another step toward making life multiplanetary. The engineers working late into the night at Starbase understand that they're not just joining metal, they're building humanity's bridge to the stars. The impact of these advances extends far beyond SpaceX. Other aerospace companies have begun adopting similar techniques, creating a ripple effect throughout the industry. The innovations born in the Texas heat are transforming how we build spacecraft, setting new standards for what's possible in space exploration. As we stand on the brink of this new era in spaceflight, the story of Starship's welding evolution serves as a powerful reminder that the greatest challenges often yield the most significant breakthroughs. Each weld, each improvement, each lesson learned has brought us closer to realizing our interplanetary dreams. The journey hasn't been easy, but as the saying goes at Starbase, the road to Mars is paved with perfect welds. The most recent milestones have been particularly encouraging. During the latest series of tests, the welds performed beyond even the most optimistic projections. The data showed stress tolerances that would have seemed impossible just a year ago. For the engineers who remember those early days of struggle with FCAW welding, seeing these results brings both pride and amazement. They've not just solved the welding challenges, they've revolutionized the entire field of spacecraft construction. As we've seen, the evolution of Starship's welding technology represents far more than just technical innovation. It's a testament to human perseverance and ingenuity. From those early challenging days with visible welds and structural concerns to today's nearly invisible seams and incredible strength, each advancement brings us closer to making life multiplanetary. The journey continues as SpaceX pushes forward with V3 development, promising even greater achievements in spacecraft construction. These innovations aren't just changing how we build rockets, they're revolutionizing our approach to space exploration itself. Through advanced welding techniques, what once seemed impossible is becoming reality, one precision weld at a time. For those fascinated by space technology and humanity's journey to the stars, this is just the beginning. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest developments in space innovation and engineering breakthroughs. If you found this deep dive into Starship's welding evolution interesting, make sure to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Want to stay updated on the latest SpaceX developments and engineering innovations? Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit the notification bell. Join our community of space enthusiasts as we continue to explore the cutting edge technologies shaping humanity's future among the stars.
Thank you for watching and remember, today's engineering challenges are tomorrow's breakthrough solutions. Breaking news from SpaceX that's shaking up the space industry. In a stunning development, fragments of Ship 31 have been recovered from the Indian Ocean. The first time SpaceX has retrieved Starship debris from a water landing. But that's not even the biggest news. SpaceX has just unveiled the first glimpses of their monstrous Block 2 booster. We're talking about a rocket booster with nearly 10,000 tons of thrust, equivalent to 14 Falcon 9s firing simultaneously. The developments don't stop there. Fresh photos reveal new launch mount construction, but here's the twist. It's not at Starbase. And while SpaceX pushes the boundaries of heavy lift rockets, Rocket Lab is making remarkable strides with their Neutron vehicle, setting up an exciting race in the commercial space sector. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. In the pre-dawn hours of a calm morning in the Indian Ocean, Two ships cut through the gentle waves on a mission that would make history. The Limitless and Barton Renegade weren't just any vessels. They were about to become part of SpaceX's most ambitious recovery operation yet. The crews knew the stakes were high. No one had ever attempted to retrieve a Starship upper stage from the ocean before. As the first rays of sunlight painted the horizon, the radar pinged. Ship 31 had made its descent. The splashdown was successful, but what happened next would test the crew's resolve. The massive spacecraft, still hot from re-entry, hit the water with such force that it split in two. Hearts sank as the payload bay separated from the main tanks. Years of engineering excellence now floated in pieces on the vast ocean surface. But SpaceX teams don't give up easily. In a stroke of fortune that seemed almost engineered, the main tanks remained stubbornly buoyant. For the next 72 hours, crews worked around the clock in challenging ocean conditions. Every recovered piece could hold the key to improving future flights. The ocean's salt spray mixed with sweat as they carefully extracted component after component from the floating spacecraft. When the ships finally returned to port, they carried more than just salvage hardware. They brought back crucial data that would reshape the future of space travel. The recovery team's prized possession, a collection of heat shield tiles that had survived the brutal forces of atmospheric re-entry. Each tile told its own story of the intense heat and pressure it endured. One engineer examining the recovered components remarked that these weren't just pieces of ceramic, they were pages from the Book of Space Flight written in fire and friction. But while the recovery team was making headlines, something even more revolutionary was taking shape back at Starbase. Through the windows of the Star Factory, keen observers spotted what looked like sections of a giant. The first components of the Block 2 booster had emerged, and they were absolutely massive. To put it in perspective, a single tank component rolled out of the factory